So, how are you doing? Ma'am, I'm doing good. How are you? All good. Thank you. Congratulations on your result, Pashmin. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, all relaxed now? Yes, ma'am. Feeling a bit mixed of emotions, relaxed, happy <laughs> and motivated too. So, what decision have you made? Is it going to be DSC or IGIDR? Where are you going? Ma'am, I'm thinking I'm a bit inclined towards IGIDR only. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. So, Pashmin, go ahead. Tell, uh, you know, the juniors about your journey and how you did your preparation. Okay. So, actually, I started with my coaching last year, last year in May. So, the live classes uh, started a bit late, but I took the course a bit early so that I could uh, you know polish all my uh, all my concepts which were taught in the first two years so when I started it I was not aware of many colleges I just uh, knew about DSC and a bit about JNU IGIDR also which I'm going to go now I came to know in when I joined the coaching so I started it in May and uh, in May, I used to just see the videos in which I was a bit weak, like my, some subjects of micro and some topics of maths. Then when live classes started, so I started to see the live classes and the DPPs along with it. Nothing else in the starting really. I didn't uh, work very hard in the starting. So, and as you said that, uh, you know, you have to increase your effort towards the end. You told us that in the first class, so I followed that, that initially I would not take much pressure. I would just attend the classes and do the homework and nothing else. So I just used to study three hours in total, just keeping up with what is done in the class and making notes. So this was my strategy till uh, October, November. Okay. I completed all the subjects and so everyone started with the mocks and all very early. I started a bit late. I started it in January. Then oh. till December, ha, till December I was done with the syllabus. But then in January I did PYQs and mocks okay. for JAM. Matlab, uh, it uh, My preparation was such that whatever paper uh, was going to be next. So I just did mocks. And syllabus was done till December. So, uh, Pashmin, since, uh, you know, each uh, of the exam has a different kind of uh, approach, how did you yes. make sure that, you know, you switch from IIT to GATE to CUT? How did your preparation change? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, particularly, I was a bit more inclined towards IIT and CUET. GATE was not on very priority list for me. Uh, even ISI, matlab ISI. I give my CUET exam. So, uh, my preparation was such... I just lost you in between. So, you were telling me about ISI first, okay. Yes, ma'am. ISI, I found a bit difficult. Like the questions you made us do in the class. So, I thought that this will not So, I should focus on the easy things first. So, I... So, when... For IIT jam, actually, I skipped Indian Eco and all those theo mainly so theory, even macro, much of the Keynesian and uh, classical theory. I skipped it. I just uh, stick to the logical part and I did four subjects like micro, macro, stats, maths majorly mm -hmm. because I think you told us to do that only key for jam it would work and it really worked matlab doing less also it really worked in jam but after uh, jam i ensured that first i have to complete all the indian eco lectures so indian eco lectures were what i what i saw in february not before that so indian eco and a bit of public uh, public eco plus the keynesian classical theories i saw in feb and then in march all the mock tests okay so what was your approach in the exam? Since the exam was very different from last year, how did you make sure that, you know, you do well in the exam? Uh, Ma'am, actually for JAM, to, uh, matlab, JAM came to be, uh, matlab, JAM was quite easy than expected. 
so for jam i felt nice that i covered all the mocks and when i saw five six questions exactly similar mm -hmm. i was very happy that i to remember answer also for this the <laughs> final answer because i did that in the mocks yeah. so and uh, the level was also very easy as compared to the mocks so i didn't really score well in the mocks which i gave on the portal but in the paper i was i was able to do that Okay. so i think for jam to for jam to all the logical aspects of everything even maths stats be so it works for jam doing just the logical part questions practice for us so actually the result for jam came before before we gave cuet so because i because i was a bit safe in the score so i could give cuet with uh, with confidence matlab i i i, I over attempted a bit and i think I, it made the difference so actually i also when i was confused between two or three options i marked it because i i knew that i have something at the back so i think that made the difference for two to three questions otherwise the other uh, logical paper which cuet Uh, in which uh, the logical part of the cuet paper was easy matlab there was no maths and stats that much yeah but it was all i mean it was different from what was expected yes ma'am yes ma'am very different okay so um, pashmin now can you just guide the juniors like when should they start the preparation when should they start the revision how many revisions everything mm. what should be the strategy for upcoming batch so for the strategy for upcoming batch should be that uh, matlab jo uh, whatever exam is going to be the next i think you should prepare for that not only one exam like not only for isi only or not only cuet i think giving all the exams gives uh, gives us a practice so i think uh giving all the exams is necessary and uh, regarding preparation time i think they should start around may or june now only and try to wind up at least the syllabus by december like not doing much of all the books and all but just uh, seeing the lectures making notes and doing uh, dpps regularly would work till december and after that mocks and pyqs and also i made small small uh, small like uh, formula sheets for stats and maths so that really helps in the end and how did you uh, memorize all the indian eco uh, indian eco actually i did it in february only and then i made small notes for that so i kept revising it till the end and mostly it was chronology uh. and so yeah i had to learn some dates mug up but that was the only solution to that so you just i mean you kept the mugging up part for the last yes 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 i prepared small notes and then i kept doing that at the end and how many revision rounds is idle i think for, uh, it it's different for everyone i think some people like to do the course well before and then revise many times but in my case i uh, matlab i also saw new videos at the end which you refused to do <laughs> matlab you told us that you don't have to do any new things at the end but i keep on adding new new things the new question banks and i keep on writing new formulas till the end only mm -hmm. so that i didn't revise obviously so i think in my case i just revise once or twice okay but uh, if if you have a problem in memorizing i think you should do it twice thrice got it so uh, pashmin since many students they also go to college right mm. and they are also preparing for this exam mm. how to keep a balance between the two uh yes ma'am actually i joined it uh, at the start of the fifth semester so there was a one one and a half month holiday so at that time though it was very easy to balance like 3 4 hours every day it was easy to dedicate when uh, when college opened actually then i faced a bit trouble but because i did not try to do everything matlab i just tried ki i just finish up with the classes and dpp so it was possible along with college in the fifth semester yes in the sixth semester i compromised on my college a bit 
like not on the not on the internals part but on the attendance part i make sure that i gave all the internals all the assignments but uh, i compromised the bit on attendance part in the sixth semester mm-hmm. so that was my strategy got it so just one last question uh, pashmi now so uh, you know since once the students they begin their preparation usually what happens is that whenever there are some festivals or whenever you know something or the other comes up say college fest they just yes. interest in studying and you know even though they start at a higher pace then they just take a dip and then it is it is it becomes difficult to come back so how did what was your strategy during say diwali dashera say your winter break mm-hmm. so many mid sem breaks how did you what did you do during that period yes ma'am and i think that's important you should not skip that at matlab Uh, at uh, every student you should not skip everything in your preparation i was also a part of many societies in college so they also give you certain work and you have to attend certain events etc so i uh, kept on being the part of the society and i also attended all the festivals but i just made sure that if uh, i am not able to attend the live lectures which i sometimes missed due to an internal or maybe uh, other festival so i made sure that i do it at the end of the week hmm. matlab i see the recording and i just made sure that one week no no more delay than one week or two weeks at max so that was uh, my strategy for this but i didn't miss and i think one should not miss everything because then they get bored of studying at the end so exactly. like you should attend so, events and, and teacher also what we see what i especially notice is on day 1 if there is attendance of 300 students then by the time it is july and august then it keeps dropping and i remember that by the time time we are in say october first week i only see 30 40 students joining the live class and everyone is dependent on recorded lecture so even i start to get a feeling that you know students have slowly slowly become lethargic which is not a good idea only those 30 40 who remain disciplined throughout are the one who you know crack the exam so it is important to keep that discipline across right yes ma'am and i think most uh, matlab most of the time when we are not able to score well it is because only that we give up at the end exactly. matlab we start at a higher pace and we give up at the end so that should not be done if even if you start by like, just doing the live classes daily and increase your pace at the end yes right okay thank you so much for your time today pashmin i wish you all the luck and have a very good um, next two years life at book you know especially mumbai it's a beautiful city i know you will love it uh, visit all the beautiful beaches in mumbai go and watch uh, usually i visit mumbai once or twice a year so if i will come there i will definitely ask all the igr students to come and meet me yes ma'am and thank you so much ma'am till the end you matlab you ensured that you took classes also for every topic which has already been done and uh, matlab the uh, compared to other years this is this was less this year because of some issues as i mentioned in the telegram group but uh, you know i kind of like when we have these marathons towards the end i think this is what yes, ma'am friends for you to clear the exam Yes, yes, it actually makes a difference. Uh, I mean, I started along with all my batchmates, so there was nothing very different in the starting. Mm-hmm. Even I think I put in less efforts in the start, but towards the end, when I attended all the uh, the live revision classes, which for jam they were extremely helpful because you know you just revise it in one hour. so that was uh, that was very very helpful and even for cuet till march you were there always taking classes at the last moment and explaining new new concepts so that was really nice of you ma'am so i would really like to thank you and sir for the same thank you so much pashmin and just keep in touch keep me informed uh, yes, i think it has excellent placement when you get a good package when you get placed just let me know yes right? ma'am yes ma'am Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Huh? Take care. Bye. Thank you so much.